Welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Commando QS4. You always score with Commando QS4. Alright, so after last episode, I did record two more. We jumped systems to Atzenbrook here. And I recorded two episodes, but for some reason it didn't record my voice. I think there was an update somewhere along the line for Windows and somehow reset my mic to the mic from my headphones, which is not actually attached to my headphones for some reason. It thought that it was there, but it's not, so I had like no voice. And rather than playing the, the full episodes for that, I'm just going to show you what we got out of those two missions. Alright, so it really wasn't a lot. I mean, we got a bunch of components. We got the stalker piece, which was kind of nice, uh, and a few other components, a couple of predator fire control systems. You never really got a chance to see how the avatar worked out. The PPC version is actually quite good. It's got two uh, heavy PPCs, two light PPCs thing actually works quite well and the, the mission where we did the base defense we were running with uh, four vehicles and that um, that avatar and we handled that mission just just fine we almost killed everything at the end we just didn't have I mean, we had another couple turns we probably would have killed everything in that battle uh, but we have a TBM head so we can put together if we want to I'm gonna leave it for now uh, the Centurion is almost back and because it took a little bit of damage Nasty's unavailable for seven days. That uh, road rash is out for a bit, but we're going to take out the mainlands today. Now let's have a look here in the mech bay because I had to redo the Valkyrie after that blackout mission where we got pasted from behind on like that first turn when the enemies dropped down. So uh, I managed to throw something together here that I think is going to work okay. We put the medium p -p 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 pulse laser in there because I want to try that thing out. I'm just interested to see how well it works. I mean, it, it gets the, the uh, pulse laser bonuses and stuff. Uh, but because we didn't really have too much else I could add to this, I decided to give it a little bit of extra firepower and went with a couple of large chem lasers. Now, we, the thing, problem is, is this thing does not have a lot of tonnage. We've only got three slots, so working around what I had to try and work in something here was a little difficult. I wanted to make sure I filled out all three slots to maximize the number of weapons we could, we could be putting on. So a couple of large chem lasers with the double uh, ammo. Double heat sink kit with a pair of double heat sinks. The Viewmaster cockpit, quick cell, uh, clan fire control system for the plus one gunnery, powered sensors, ECM. Uh, we've got the speedy leg actuators. Like the only thing that survived on this mech was the head and the two legs. <laughs> Everything else was wiped out. So uh, I had to put in new advanced optics and a bolt-on incendiary rocket five. Uh, I figured. We were, we're down a little bit of incendiary, so I figured we put that on this thing. Help out a little bit, hopefully. So that's it for the Valkyrie. Everything else is just as it was. So let's see if we can take a mission here. I haven't had a chance to have a look to see what, what is actually up here. Uh, we do have another base defense. Um, so who is it that's attacking? Pirate forces. What else do we got here? We got a two... Two and a half done to just uh, destroy base. Series of warehouses. So that's probably going to be two lances plus turrets. Maybe. What's this guy here? Battle in the jungle against the Marian hegemony. High end mechs kitted to the gills with gear. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> Our state leadership would pay handsome fee for broadcast rights to the ensuing carnage. Expect heavy resistance. They got specialists in their ranks. I wonder if I should... Maybe we could do a hybrid battle. You guys haven't seen the Avatar with the PPC loadout. Maybe we could do a hybrid battle here. Let's negotiate this and see what we can do. Going to go full salvage. Hopefully we can get some good stuff out of here. This is probably going to be a problem, but we'll see what we can do. We can drop six. So let's see what shows up here. So this was from the last battle. Uh, Centurion's out right now. Um, let's do a split fight here. Let's bring the ferret. Let's bring... the galley, or the, uh, what's it called? Junker's not the, uh, yeah, he was the fire truck pilot. I want... 
Who is it that I want? Talented Mr. Ripley. Right? For the Hetzer? So let's bring Talented Mr. Ripley for the Hetzer. We're going to bring the Hetzer. Might be nice to have that. We'll put the Avatar at the end with Vision. Uh, do we want to bring the Stormcrow? We're doing a hybrid battle. So let's go this route and we'll bring the Vindicator obviously with Jenkins and then let's bring what do we got here again medium approved rotary rifle and you are the Rex streak combination you know what let's bring the Valkyrie because this that guy um, and that's big tax is the Valkyrie pilot right no you're the Panther pilot uh, yeah you think I'd, I'd know this by now but no why would I know that uh, we did pick up a couple of extra pilots too uh, in the last few episodes was it Scooter no yeah Scooter's a Valkyrie pilot okay um, we'll go with the Valkyrie just so we can test it out I think the Avatar at two and a half skulls will be the you know the defining feature here plus the the, the Hetzer and the Ferret are going to do some good work so let's run with this and we'll see how it goes um, what are we missing here a maximum of 400 tons so what are we at so we're fine what am I missing? Both are vehicle pilots. Only allowed to drop four units. Well, that's interesting. Only four, eh? Well, well, well. Uh... All right, well, let's go this route then. We're one and a half to their two and a half. So, I, I mean, we should be fine. We got the Avatar, so we should be fine. Yeah, I know you say that. Command interface initiated. Well, I heard copters, and I hate this map. Oh, God. Okay. Well. Oh. So they're over there in a nicely well defended area. I mean, we do have, why can't I not? Oh, they probably have reinforcements. Well, that's just cheating. Okay. Um, yeah, they probably have reinforcements. So I'm wondering if we deal with them first. Starting here is always bad because you're down the you're down the cliff. You got to fight your way up and then fight in this narrow traversed area here. We do have range, so let's use it. Let's use the avatar and the storm crow. We'll drop in here. I think that's what we'll do. Let's see how it goes. So I want to apologize for not being uh, more proactive and getting some episodes up. Um, my mother-in-law last week had a, a heart attack, so um, I've been down for a bit uh, getting stuff, you know, organized and cope with. I did, like I said, I did record two episodes on the weekend. was hoping to get them out, but didn't record any voice. So unfortunately, that kind of fell through. But uh, that being said, I'm hoping to get back on a more up, regular Andrew. schedule. You yeah, of course. Of course we do. Hoping to get back on a regular schedule this week. So we got Talos Warrior that I can see. I'm your Spaniel. Are you? Um, I don't like exposing like this, but we're going to have to to see if we can Onward. spot some more. Okay, we got good sight. Got a wasp over here. So the warrior has got paramissiles, ballistic missile, the Venator. It's out of range anyway, so Talos is pretty good, but this is a little better. Uh, we're going to use the combat shotgun. Might as well try and get as much damage on this guy as possible. Try and take him down fast. Okay, good damage. Now 
That sounds like a big AC. It's either a 10 or a 20. Well, I, can't, I don't know if it's a 20. I think he's out of range for a 20. Oh, it might not be. Uh, mm, I think we want to kind of push this way as opposed to being on the hill where everybody can see us. So let's push out this way. We'll get some more evasion this way too. I'm going to keep on that uh, warrior, see if we can just pull him down before he gets a chance to move here. Uh, I'll leave the Thunderbolt off, obviously. And yes! On target. Ooh, nice hit! Good damage. Okay, so so far it's not too bad. These guys are supposed to be high tech. And we are in a good position. Uh, let's sprint it. Uh, yeah, I feel comfortable with that. I want to get the most evasion as I can. I mean, we're going to kind of be in the open anyway, so... Let's get more evasion if we can get it. Just shoot this guy. The p -p 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 pulse is out of range, unfortunately. But hopefully we land something here. Nope. It's probably just out of range for the optics. Yeah, you run. Probably a couple rocket packs. Waiting for orders. All right, so here's the uh, here's the bit of nastiness here. The avatar. Let's bring him right up to the front. This thing runs super cool. Uh, it's fully armored. Got a rocket 5 and a rocket 10 just because I had extra space, so I dropped those in there. Tag barrage, because why not? And we got light PPCs. Now we do have, you notice the light PPCs are slightly better, and then one of the heavy PPCs is slightly better. We do have a better arm actuator on one of the arms, which is giving us a bit uh, like a plus one to hit, which is kind of a bonus. So let's uh, unload. Walking on target. See ya. Okay, so they only got three in their reinforcements. So there we got they got seven. So that's a wasp. I wonder what they have as their primary mechs up there. Talos to the slaughter. Well maybe not. Ow. My mech's coming apart around me. Well, we know who we're targeting next. Tandem rockets. Rotary 2. Alright. That guy's got to go too. Standing by. Alright, we're not receiving fire from the other side of the map. Which leads me to believe they must have a lot of short range. So we're going to get up here. I'm going to try and take this Venet uh, Venator out with the uh, Valkyrie. And everybody else is going to go against the Talos, I think. Wow, it's terrible. It's better on him. So we're going to go on him. Um, that looks like a hunchback. Oh, we've got to fire at this guy anyway. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing, that's what I said. Yeah, I looked like a hunchback over there. Let's just hope it's the AC-20 version. Doesn't He won't actually engage for a bit. Um, this thing is so fucking slow. I don't want to be in the open, but, uh... Don't really have much of a choice in this instance. We'll move down here. Get our stability back. Take a shot at this guy. Yeah, we gotta get closer. Locking on. All right, at least we impaired his sensors. Orders. Um. Yeah. Copy that. Okay, so there is S seven. Don't know what that could be. The is that the silver bullet version? can't remember. We're going to take this shot, though. I'm going to put the rockets on because I want to take this guy down. We'll leave the barrage in case I don't finish him. 
walking on target. Oof, that was terrible. I'm out of SRM. Waiting for orders. Okay, let's get up here. And since I don't think we're going to be going down there, I'm going to drop the minefield down there as well. Um. Yeah, let's see if we can land a shot here with this. Aye, aye. Yeah, I don't think the uh, Thunderbolt hit. I'm out of SRM. It's actually not a bad spread. He's going on what, 18? What are we on? She's going before us. Damn it. Okay, took the bait. Oof, that's a lot of uh, instability. A lot more than what I was expecting, that's for sure. Receiving you. Acknowledged. Now the question is, do we kill this AC guy up here? No, we go after this guy. I'm going to leave the Thunderbolt on. I want to try and kill him. Nope, I don't think the Thunderbolt hit either. I'm out of LRM. ACs are hitting, though. Interested to see what this guy's got on him. He's moving pretty damn fast. Couple of ballistics. So maybe it's only a couple of machine guns? Maybe? If I get lucky, that's a side shot. The p -p -p pulse can fire as well, so let's take that. Actually, let's me see what this guy's this this uh, rotor's got here. AC ten, so it's not too too bad, but I think we can take this shot here. I'm gonna throw the uh, infernos on. We will get as much damage in as possible if I can. Nice, both largest hit. There's the p -p -p pulse. Nice. I'm out of SRM. This guy's going to go before me. And he's going to shoot me and knock me down. Oh, he missed. I was dropping a load in my pants there for a second. Let's do that. Let's get into here. Let's go after this guy. Where are you? Come on. Can I not see the Talos? I can't. Oh, shoot. Well, let's shoot this guy then. Damn, I thought I could see the Talos from there. Got it. Not enough. Shoot. That's, uh, your problems. Um. Yeah. On my way. I should be able to dump everything into this Talos now. Nope, he's still out of range. Damn, man. Ah, we got the rotary though. Critical hit. Got the rotary. I guess really that's, that's all that really matters. He's not too much of a threat now. Ah, oh, you're a little upset at me, are you? He's just a bit pissed off. I don't blame him. I would be too if they shot my rotary off. I'm just worried what the other guy is back here. So it's the Hunchback. And there's got to be another mech back there somewhere. 
I'm just terrified to think what that could be. Because it's supposed to be a high-tech lance, so... This guy's like... I don't even know what he's doing. He's probably got a pair of machine guns, because he's not shooting, so... Okay, we can see the Talos straight line here. Let's take a shot at this guy. See if we can finish him here, if we can get good shots on him. Not bad. Ouch. Oof. I love how slow that thing was moving. Oh, man, really? Commander? Let's go after that vehicle. <laughs> Just gonna ditch back here for a second. I gotta get down that hill anyway. I gotta start making it around where everybody else is. Wow, it's terrible. Yeah, if we hit him, though, we can kill this guy. So let's just fire everything. Alright, a little bit of damage. He's got no real armor, so... Good to go. Alright, let's get this... Talos? Oh, yeah. We'll take the Talos. So one of the things I did try doing in the, uh, the last two episodes was to do more um, precision shots. And none of them worked out, so I'm taking the, the straight up damage when I can get it. So many times it was like hitting, I would hit but hit the wrong areas, or I just wouldn't hit at all. So I just gave up on it. Position confirmed. All right, let's use this p -p -p pulse on this guy. Ooh, good crits. Taken a critical hit. I mean, I guess that's the benefit of that propulse is that because it fires so many times, it's got so many more chances for crits, so... This guy's pretty much done here. Yeah. His rocket packs are gone. What? Why are you panic- Why are you Why? From two medium lasers? You're panicking from two medium lasers. If you bail out, I'm gonna be so PO'd. Maybe because they were both CT hits? I don't know. Still got half your armor left. I don't know what the hell you're afraid of. Wait, what turn are we on? 15? Oh, we, we still all have to go yet. Okay. Ready for orders. Go here. On my way. Let's get this guy. Good range for that. I copy. Apparently not. At least we got the tag on. I'm receiving That's you. something, I guess. Acknowledged. We'll get that vehicle. Yeah, it's a pair of machine guns. So let's shoot this guy. Uh, yeah, we'll just go with standard. Firing all weapons. There we go. Mech destroyed. You got that right. Receiving you. All right, you panicky motherfucker. Uh, we got the Hunchback, and the Wasp. Let's just back you up to here. Move order received. You're panicking. Let's give you some good morale by wiping this guy out. Firing at enemy. Sure, you can hit all four against that guy. I'm here. All right, Scoocher. This should be a kill shot here. Not really worried about this guy. This should do it, I think. Here it comes. Firing. Well, it was a head hit. Take that. Not enough for a kill, though. Oh, it's on He's now. going on 24 now, too. Are you panicking now? No? Yeah, 
Yeah, you better run. Yes, Commander. Chase that wasp down. Ah, uh, I don't know. I can't even see the. Uh, I might be able to see if I pull out here. I got the Viewmaster cockpit, so I should probably be able to see him. I just can't shoot him. Well. Sure. Orders. Um, this guy's got full back armor still. He's being a jerk. You're being a jerk. We'll leave him for the avatar. Let's just move over here. Confirm. Take a shot at this wasp. Kind of bonus that they were all spread out. If they were like, like really packed okay, together. Might have been a different fight. That rotary 2 was pretty heavy. If I had known he had a rotary 2 right at the start. Oh, they've only got three units in that main lance. Yes, Commander. Uh, that's not going to help me there. Want to keep the solid blue and get out in the open. Give us a better chance to hit. Yeah, take a shot at this guy. Alright, we've got one on. Yes, Commander. All right, let's improve your uh, morale a little bit here. Spin your ass around. Our initiative is like garbage as hell. Engaging. Yeah. Yeah, so much better than the uh, rotaries. Just because I can mitigate the heat, right? Now, not not saying the rotaries are bad. I'm just saying that we don't have like somebody mentioned we, we should put them on the Orion. I think that's probably a good idea. Maybe just one of them, because I think the Orion's only got one ballistic hard point, but it is a torsoed hard point, so Standing we're not going to get mac maximum accuracy out of it. But at least you know, um, going at least we'll be able to get it wound up and uh, get it working. I think it's a relatively stable platform. The 75 tons is relatively stable. I'll call me. Alright, we got one on. So he does have damage reduction. I live to serve. Um I'm gonna go after him. Got it, Commander. Just keep applying pressure. Keep applying pressure. I'm gonna go with the acid and we should bring that to the top. Roger that. Uh, he's got AMS, but a couple that went through anyway, I think. Oh wait, that may have been the uh Commander. That may have been the AC. The uh, shotgun. Speed. Here you go. Shoot these down. On it. Well, that's a bad barrage location. What are you doing to me here, dude? Somebody's got a rotary something or other. Ow. Someone might call this trouble, Commander. Somebody might. It would probably be me. But this guy's in trouble too. Got it. That's his arm opened up. Although he probably has nothing in it. Maybe a medium laser or something. So is that? That looked like random damage to me. Not shying away from a fight. Um, let's get in here. It's his torso that's opened up. Okay. Yeah, let's give it to him. We got. Ready for order. He got most of those. Let's not. Uh, Hmm. It's only four chevrons. That range, he's going to get shredded. Can I get... Let's pull back here. All right. Full speed. Because this guy, I think, has got limited range. So let's just fire these two off. All right, one of them landed. 
Nicely done. Orders. Ooh, I can't see the guy now. Moving to position. Come on, hopefully we spot him. Yep, nice. Alright, a little worse than last time, but we're gonna fire. I mean, we don't really have a choice. Good to go. What do you think, buddy? Get up here and share some armor? On my way. Alright. Shred him. That was the right torso. Hit, Commander. Yeah, his whole right side's gone. So he's pretty much done, I think. Well, he's got a couple medium X pulses, so maybe not. Light damage. We actually did that on purpose because we want to clear some of this vegetation out back here. It's where our dropship's going to land, so that's why we shot there, just in case you're wondering. It's not an accuracy issue or anything. I know people will sometimes often say that and be like, hey, you don't hit very often with that thing. And I'm like, well, you know, you got to consider so where I'm actually confirm. aiming for, right? That's what I was aiming for, so I hit, I hit often enough with it. Reporting critical hit. Thank you. Thank you very much. Commander. All right, Scoocher, uh, let's get you on the wasp. I copy. With the pulse. All right, let's open some areas up with the large chems and then hit him with the pulse. Or just hit him with the pulse, that works too. Strip some armor off, baby. I mean, I guess at low level, that p -p -p pulse would work pretty well. If you think about it, like, I guess lightly armored targets, it would strip a lot of armor. All right, let's get in. I'm getting the open. I'm not really that worried at this point. I was hoping for a tougher, for a tougher um, competition here. Firing all weapons. Yeah. Yeah, you're not standing up to that. Enemy destroyed. I don't really feel sorry for him. I feel sorry for the uh, the wasp that has to now deal with the avatar. Position confirmed. This guy's like, no, don't do it. Target confirmed. Ooh, that's a lot of misses. Jenkins on 23. Our initiative suffers, man. I got, I got to say, like the, the in the battles that I was playing, the last two battles, our initiative has been terrible because we've been outnumbered most of the time. And I think being outnumbered affects your uh, initiative rating because uh, my initiative seems to go up the more balanced the uh, numbers are. Like now we're at 18 and 23, 15, whereas before we were at like 12s and 14s and, and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure that's the case. Everything I've got. Nice. I'm liking this Vindicator loadout. It's actually not a bad medium mech. Like I'm not a really big fan of a lot of scatter. Well, I mean, I guess I am because I use it a lot, but it's uh, it's nice to compensate for those those low accuracy chances to hit with a lot of scatter, you know. That should be a knockdown. Scored. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There it is, folks. Mission successful. Well, I was really hoping for some quick sell gear, but uh, that just didn't happen. We did, we did take a bunch of armor damage. Vindicator got two kills. The Avatar got three. Yeah, I mean, like, in the past few battles, too, like, like at least the ones that the Avatar was in, it, I think the first battle in the, uh, it got, like, four kills, and then, like, the next one it got a bunch, too, so... Um, it, it, I mean, just... Those PPCs, the two heavy PPCs, are just a nice loadout. Now, uh, what do we want to take here? Let's go with storage. To this hunchback part... IAC-20, pair of Mark II Battle Fist, IAC-20, Pulse Lasers. Those weren't 
Those were X pulses, though, I think. Mark II Battle Fist. And obviously, it had some stealth. Punch accuracy, torso accuracy. So it's pretty much the same as a regular hunchback. I wonder if I should just grab that part. It is compatible with the rest. One ballistic, two laser. Mm, I really want the weapon. That's what I want more than anything off of that thing. But we destroyed it. Clan laser AMS. Armored cowl. Pirate ECM. Fire control system jam. Okay, this is what I was looking for, for the rotary. Minus 30% multiplier to jam chance. Let's grab that. Harden support A. Plus one armor and structure to the location. That's not very much. I mean, I guess it would help with losing your head completely. In one shot, like if you took an AC-10 to the head, this would probably stop it from coming right off. So it's not bad. Oh, double, Protect Double Heat Sinks, Pirate Fire Control System. Plus one accuracy, evasion. Yeah, this thing is great. Although it's got like a lot of recoil. But if you're running like a lot of lasers, right? I know it's plus 10% heat generated, but you can offset that by using the fire control system heat, which drops it 10%, so it negates this. I'm going to throw that there for now, but let's see what else we got. Passive sensors. Um... Protect double heat sinks are really nice. But these are far more rare, I think. So let's hope we get some prototype double heat sinks. I think we go that route. As much as I would like to take this hunchback to try and get the weapon, most likely I'm not going to get it. But I'm not going to see these again. And this I know we could use with the Orion with the rotary for sure. And this we can definitely use in something for sure. All right, let's just grab these. All right, pirate medium laser, uh, Venator, a couple machine guns we can just drop. The 120 core can go. Standard can go. We got the hardened support, so that's not too bad. SRM ammo we don't need. Medium laser we don't need. I'll keep this, though. Variable damage, but bonus accuracy. Wait a minute, I thought the pirate medium lasers... Gave you a bonus for melee. I guess they don't anymore? The plus one accuracy is nice though. I know the damage is variable, but still. The heat's a little higher though. It goes from 12 to, to 16. Oh, you know, it's is it the ER pirate medium laser that gives you the plus one or the plus damage to melee? It might be the ER version that I'm thinking. Yeah, Alright. That's that's not too bad. Ooh, that's more than I thought. I was thinking about 50, 60,000, but that's, I mean, yeah, you know what, though? The, um, the Avatar has got that, uh, the ballistic, um, the ballistic armor, which increases the value of repair for the armor. So that's why it's so pricey. But that's fine. I mean, it, it reduces the damage a tremendous amount, which is great. So, like, that extra 20% is just really, really nice. Is it 20 or 10? I can't remember, but it's still... It still reduces the damage a fair bit. Anyway, um, yeah, like I said, with uh, my mother-in-law having that heart attack last week, and, like my wife was away in Switzerland, and my wife and uh, my youngest were away in Switzerland for their uh, um, movie premiere at the uh, Lucarno Film Festival, and I was like, it was really brutal when I found out she was in the hospital, and it's like, anyway, long story short, it's been a week of hell. I was really hoping to have a couple of episodes like at least packaged and out, when I had some free time on the weekend, but it never happened, like I said, because of the bad audio. So I'm hoping to get back into a reg like after this weekend, I'm hoping to get back into a regular schedule again. So for the next little bit, the episodes will be a little, little intermittent. And I apologize if the quality isn't quite there, but we'll get back to normal eventually and things will start rolling again. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please go join at the uh, check out the Quick Sell website. Until next time, we'll see you later.